Our Lord is good. Precious Father, thank you for this moment. Lead us as we testify of your goodness. And may the testimony touch our lives and our souls. So that our life will glorify your name. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. We are happy today and uh, we thank God for the beautiful day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing. I continue to thank my brother and all of you for accepting me the way I am. May the name of the Lord be praised. Amen. The Spirit is one. My brother was talking about reward. And he also talked about gifts. And these are the two things that I want to share today. Hallelujah. Amen. So that's why I said the Spirit is one. My topic is commitment to the things of God. Commitment to the things of God. In the house of God, you have so many people with so many gifts. How do you commit that gift to serve the Lord? How do you commit that gift in the house of God so that the house of God we grow. The house of God will be blessed. And the God who gave you that gift will be glorified. I think last Sunday, my brother was also talking about the young people and their gifts and what they can do. Thank God, many of us, or many of them are doing something. But if you're here, you have a gift, and you're not doing anything, I want you to listen to me this morning. I don't have enough time. Let's look at 1 Timothy 4, 14 to 15. We will just say one or two things, and then I will share a testimony. I have just 10 minutes or 15. 1 Timothy 4, 14 and 15. Are we there? Are we getting it? Okay. Can we all stand to read First Timothy 4, 14 and we'll read 14 and 15. Why don't you go? Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy, with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. 15. Meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them, that thy promptity may appear to all. Amen. That's the word of God. You may be seated. I just want to pick a word there. And that is in 15. Give thyself holy to them that their profiting may appear to all. What does it mean by holy? Holy means completely. Not half and half, not half bad. Give your gifts. Complete. No, don't remove anyone. Totally. Holy means totally. Total. Don't say today, I will do it tomorrow, I won't. No, it's total. It belongs to God. To the full extent. 
to the full extent. We are talking about holy. Full extent. It's not half. It's not one quarter. Full. My brother, if you're here and you have a gift, give it wholly. Don't hide anyone. Don't keep anyone. It is to the glory of God. I admire these children. They have the gift to sing and they are singing. Every Sunday they are here singing. Meaning they are giving it holy. Thank God for our brother who came today. Came last Sunday he was late. Today he came on time. So he's going to be committed. Amen. He's going Amen. to give his gift fully Amen. to the growth of the church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's my message. That's all. And then the second part of it is the reward. Hebrews 6 10. And I will share my testimony. The second part of the commitment to the things of God with your gift is the reward. Six ten says, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have showed towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints. And to and to minister. So our labor is not in vain. Amen. Amen. If you are bringing out that your gift, if you are serving God, committed in serving in doing the things of God, your reward is waiting for you. Amen. Nobody will take it. Amen. And God has a reward for everybody. Amen. For every gift. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I wedded in 1995. And in our tradition, once you wed, they will be praying that in, in nine months, they will come to look at the baby, dedicate the baby. That's what they normally say. That was what they expect. So in our case, nine months pass, nothing. No baby. My testimony is not about maybe waiting for baby to come. No. But it's a different one. Something really happened. We waited for one year, nothing happened. After that, we said, let's just go to hospital and find out what is the problem. Why we continue to wait and pray. And then we went to a hospital in Enugu. Man did so many tests and they told us to come back. We went back. He looked at us and said something that was unbelievable. Yeah, my brother, my sister, sorry to tell you from what he saw, we can't have children. You know what that means? When you, you just were a new couple, you're just looking up to God, and then the doctor will tell you, you don't have any hope of having children. I said, okay. We left. He said, no, we have to go to another gynecologist to get a, a second opinion. We went to another person to cut the story short. He gave us the same report. The same. I told my wife, look, all these computers age, I don't know whether they, they connect themselves. These people are, <laughs> are all in any group. So let's go to somebody else. And uh, that was the time one of our relations, my Paul knows him, he's from their place, you know, Gigito Dokosa. He's a gynecologist, he came from the US, he returned from the US. He's a friend to my senior brother who is also a gynecologist. So we went to him, you know, did he? At least we said, this is the person we know, and he's from the U.S. He's going to tell us the truth and all those things. So he did his own test, and uh, we went back. The same report. Wow. You said, we can only travel abroad to go and look for 
do what they call, is it IV, whatever. That time, no money, nobody plans about that one. He came back and uh, my wife started crying. And I wasn't a priest then. I said, let's go and meet our, our pastor in the church. And then we went, discussed with him, told him, the man said, look, serve the Lord with your gifts. Amen. That with God, all things are possible. Amen. Amen. He encouraged us. He says, I, I love scientists. He said, don't, don't look at what the doctors have said. Look unto God. Amen. Amen. He will do it. But go, serve the Lord. Amen. With whatever you have. Amen. He prayed for us. We left. I came back and I told my wife, look, we need to serve the Lord. Amen. And uh, the place where we are worshiping God is far from where we are living. But my wife decided to be what we call sanctuary keeper. Go to church on a Saturday to clean the place. Decided to do that and you know, she was doing it every Saturday. Keeping the church clean, getting ready so that tomorrow the church will be neat. So she committed, she has that gift. She committed it to God. I have different gifts. And I began to serve the Lord in the church in a different dimension. And the church noticed it, just like Bob said. They began to give me so many appointments. Chairman, dad, chairman, dad. And I was doing it with all my heart. And I was doing it committedly. Holy, even using my money, in cases where they don't have the money, I use my money, I won't tell you tell anybody. I committed what I what gave God gave me to that. To the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I say oh, to the glory of God. Amen. Something happened. My wife was confused. I said, what is it? You know, blah, 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 blah. The next thing, pregnancy. Amen. Amen. I'm just cutting this story short. By the time you know it, the first child arrived. Amen. A baby girl. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And that's why I named her Miracle. Amen. I named her Miracle. It's a miracle child. Amen. Defy all medical, everything. God just looked at our commitment mm. to the things of God. Amen. Are you here? You are doubting what God can do. Are you here? You are not using your time to serve the Lord. I want to encourage you. God is watching you. Amen. He gives you that talent. Yes. And He is watching you Amen. to see how you are using it. Amen. I encourage you, use it fully. Amen. Use it well. Amen. The day I dedicated that child, I had to go and invite all those doctors. Come and join me to thank God. <laughs> Come and hear what God can do in this And they came and they were blessing. By the time we were just settling down, Another one came. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And that one, the baby boy. I say, God, you have done. In Igbo land, I name him Chukwe Mecca. You may say, God, you have done everything for me. Amen. And I'm satisfied. Amen. Thank you. That is what God can do. Amen. So the couple, they said they will not have children. Mm. Or rather, let them travel. We didn't travel. Mm. We travel to God. Amen. And God answered us. Amen. Are you going to travel to God this morning? Amen. If yes, can you rise up and let us pray? Amen. It's a miracle walking God. It's a miracle walking 
Amen. 